Hey Virgo, welcome to your general love reading for September 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And because it is general, it also means that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see, Virgo, what is going on with you? overall energy for the first half of September. Ooh, okay, we have ascending. Okay, so you might be feeling this. You might be having um, certain symptoms as well. Uh, definitely becoming more aware of your higher self and of your spiritual side. All right, so let's see. Could be for your person as well. Could be the both of you. Let's see, Virgo. Whatever this is, I feel like it is moving you in a path that is going to lead to a sense of peace, a sense of calm. It could be uncomfortable at first, but I feel like ultimately this month you are having some major, major revelations here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of September. Okay, so for the situation, oh, okay, well, starting off with the devil, crossed by the Eight of Cups. Okay, so there is a toxic situation. Okay, this could be what you are learning here and why you are ascending. There is a toxic situation, something that is unhealthy um, at the moment, and I feel like the struggle for you here is to really walk away from that. So this could be what you are struggling with, maybe somebody else's, um, maybe the both of you. Recent past, we have the chariot. Near future, we have the four of cups. All right, okay, so there was some movement in the recent past. Possibly somebody chose to move in a, in a different direction. We'll see more, we might clarify this. Um, a sense of disappointment though coming up for somebody. Let's see, for you, Six of Swords, for them, the Two of Pentacles, for you, the World, for them, the Star, all right, and potential outcome here, the Seven of Swords, all right. Okay, look, it's not, it's not that bad. I feel like that's why we started the reading off with the Ascending card, because this is Spirit reminding you that there is a reason for everything that is happening, okay? You are Ascending. I feel like it, it, this might also be the case for your person, all right? Because they have the star here. So this does suggest some healing. It does suggest divine intervention and some guidance. Um, we'll clarify and see. I do see you being the one moving away from from a connection and pretty much trying to close out a cycle here okay so i do feel like this is you mostly walking away from this um for them they're they're juggling here there there's a little bit of a struggle there's a little bit of a trying to figure things out trying to manage trying to really fix things in a way but i feel like this person is having a hard time however however again this is spirit reminding you that this things are working out in the way that they should things are might be very toxic at the moment um but this person is also moving towards a towards some kind of a healing so we'll we'll see we'll clarify the rest of them to get more information so let's clarify this Devil with the Eight of Cups. Some of you might be dealing with the Capricorn. We also have Cancer on the table. We also have Aquarius. All right, the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Swords. There has been some waiting here. Somebody has been putting in effort. I feel like things, and I feel like that's why we have the chariot in the, in the recent past, actually. This is it actually clarifying that as well. There was, there were some steps that were being taken, and 
there and maybe still currently right it it but it I feel like it's this never ending um this never ending feeling of things are constantly in the works things are constantly being put together but the end result never comes right which is that nine of cups um that wish fulfillment like things never reach that point it's just it, it it's like there's always something and as soon as you feel like all right you know things are moving we got this fixed then something else um, pops up. For some of you, because we do have the Devil and, and the Nine of Cups here together, for some of you this could even be referring to an addiction, either for yourself or for the other person. If it's the other person, maybe that's why you're moving away because, well, this person just wasn't able to um, really get sober, maybe. Um, and addiction doesn't have to be substance abuse, it could be for just about anything, right? It could even be video games or a sex addiction, it could work anything. And that's why there's a lot of heartbreak at the moment. So let's see that Six of Swords for you. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, the world again, and strength. Okay. Leo showing up here as well. Uh, definitely let me know what sign you're dealing with because we have a whole bunch of them um, showing up here. Yeah, you're taking action. I feel like you're trying to do this quickly. I feel like you, you're, you're at this point where you just feel like, okay, you know, if I don't do it quickly, like I might not be able to do it. <laughs> so you're trying to just kind of go at it fast. Um, because you just don't want to have to deal with this anymore and I feel like it is taking a lot of strength from you. This is definitely not something that is easy for you at all. So I do feel like, you know, maybe you have been waiting for a long time, as I said before. And, you know, what happens is when we're waiting for something for a long time and we keep getting hope because we do see some steps being taken, we do see the effort it's so easy to, you know, hold on to that hope and then, you know, we have that disappointment and then, but the steps are still being taken. So it like, you know, pulls us back in. So yeah, it definitely does take a lot of strength to break away from that. And that's part of your ascension. All right, because I see you actually doing that. And it doesn't mean that you're never going to be with this person. It's just what you are being called to do right now. So, yeah, I don't even know if we need to clarify the world, but let's see what we get here. We get the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so this is you actually showing up as this Queen of Wands, meaning that you are assertive. You know what you want, and you're trying to be as action-oriented about this as possible. Like, I feel like you don't want it to just be um, thoughts in your head or just talk. Like, you actually want to walk walk the walk or walk the talk. What's the, what's the expression? <laughs> You guys know what I mean, but, um, but I've been gone from the States for too long, so walk the, I don't know. Somebody can let me know if you guys want. All right, so let's see, let's see for your person here. Let's see this two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. We have the magician, judgment, and justice. This is like major, major stuff here. There is a lot that is going on for this person. Um, they're trying to really manifest some kind of a decision. This person is really trying hard. Um, wow. This person is trying to have a resurrection. This person is trying to have a rebirth. This person is trying to be free of whatever toxicity there is in this situation here, whatever that is for them. All right, because I do feel like this devil is actually referring to the both of you in some way, like you may, just you being in um, contact with them, you know, it was affecting you, for example, so it was toxic for you. I'm not saying that you are a toxic person. I'm not saying they are a toxic person either, okay? Um, I'm just saying there was something unhealthy present somewhere 
in this connection. Doesn't mean it's the connection itself, but something, there's a situation here that's unhealthy and it's affecting the, situ the, the connection in an unhealthy way because of that. So this person is really trying to figure out what to do. Like, it's no joke. At first, I was like, mm, I was kind of like wondering why the star was here. Like, I almost, like, it was hard to kind of believe it. But now I see this person is really putting their best effort forward, coming up at least. And I feel like that, you know, also is in relation to you walking away, even if it's just energetically walking away. This person is definitely trying to do what is right, trying to make things right, trying to make the right decisions. It's difficult though, I'm not gonna lie. It's difficult for them, all right? Because let's not forget, we're clarifying the Two of Pentacles here. So let's see the star. All right, we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Four of Swords. So yeah, definitely healing, all right? Two cards of healing here, the Knight of Wands. Um, I feel like it is a process. I feel like there might be a little bit of, again, it does feel like there's a little bit of back and forth here, but I do see them um, going at this with passion. Like their intentions are in the right place when it comes to whatever it was that was unhealthy here, okay? Um, there's definitely some healing that is happening, so I'm really curious now to see why we have the Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords for what is um, coming up here. So let's see, Four of Cups. The King of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Fool. Alright, so this isn't you actually, this is them, and it doesn't mean that they're actually going back um, to this Devil's Energy. This is them actually feeling that disappointment, feeling some sadness because you, you're walking away. That's you walking away, right? Six of Swords, the world. Um, I feel like that actually, it's going to, to them it's going to feel like, you know, they lost something here um, emotionally. It's going to affect them a lot emotionally. But you know what, that's, that's okay because you have to do what is best for you. And sometimes, you know, this person, whatever it is that they're dealing with or whatever it is that they were doing that was not healthy, even if it was their behavior towards you, you know, sometimes it's they need to be independent in order to really take action, in order to make a leap of faith, in order to have a new beginning. So yes, there is going to be some disappointment coming up for them, um, but I feel like, you know, that's ultimately what it's doing is it's helping them to leave something behind as well, which I feel is that devil, and and start on a new path here. So let's see the Seven of Swords. All right, so we have the Six of Swords, Temperance, the Five of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Okay. I feel like this is a precaution for you um, because I, I do feel like this is you actually um, with the Six of Swords showing up here. By you sticking to what it is that you're feeling right now, okay, and moving forward. And notice how we have the Six of Swords twice and notice how similar these images are to the Ascending card. All right, the boat and moving towards the sunlight. That's what this moving forward 
is doing for you, okay? It's moving you towards the sun. It's moving you towards your, your right path. Um, I forget it. Okay. It's leading you to healing. It's leading you to peace, as I said before, right, with the temperance here. A calmer state of being. Does it come with a loss? Yes. That's what the Seven of Swords is, is that it's easy to go back on this decision, right? Because you, because you will feel a loss from this connection. And so you might be a little bit confused and kind of want to, you know, revert back. And that's completely natural. That's completely normal. That's why it's showing up here. And I feel like you're just being um, asked here, you're being called to trust, to trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust the ascending path. Because that is ultimately leading you to the light and I feel like it's ultimately leading this situation overall to the light, including this person. Because they have some major, major um, healing cards here as well. Big decisions, being able to manifest that rebirth. So yeah, don't um, don't don't question yourself. Know that everything is going to be okay regardless. Right. So Virgo, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, we have the new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. This, this prosperity, I'm seeing this as just being abundance overall, okay? You, what it's saying is that this is what lies ahead, all right? When you move in this direction, keep moving in the direction that, that you have set out to move towards because that can only lead you to, to abundance, all right? And that doesn't just mean financial or material at all, okay? That's not what this reading was about. So... Although for some of you, it definitely could also include that, okay? All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.